Hello and welcome to Control Delete Tutorials. My name is Jason and today we are going to be talking about a Mixamo workflow for 3D Studio Max using the cat rigging system. Uh, if you're not familiar with Mixamo, and by the way I just want to say this is not a sponsored video, uh, I just find the... Um, I've done a couple of different um, tutorials uh, talking about rigging and things in Maya and I want to show a workflow that kind of works with 3D Studio Max. This also works with Maya. Um, but I do want to show how you can use this um, great website, Mixamo. It does some auto-rigging uh, for your characters, um, and it is a paid service. Uh, definitely something to check out. It has a lot of animations that you can kind of go through and put on your character. But the nice thing is, is it kind of does an auto-rigging uh, system. But I've done some freelance work where I've come up with a workflow for using their auto-rig. So if you have to change it, in case you don't have a standard human character, um, that has standard human proportions. Maybe the character has a larger head or bigger hands or something like that. So I want to show that kind of workflow. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to open up 3ds Max. And I've got this totally legal character. This is Break It Mario. No way related to any uh, other movies or characters. Totally original character. You can tell because he has a mustache. That makes him totally original. Um... All jokes aside, I'm using this character because he's got these strange proportions. And um, you can find characters like this uh, on different websites for downloading. Um, I can't remember exactly which one I got this one from. Um, but if you look up 3D character models, I'm sure uh, you'll be able to find um, something to work with. So... I'm going to break this down into a couple different steps. One, how do we uh, export and set things up into Mixamo? How do we uh, go about auto-rigging? How do we bring our character back into 3ds Max? How do we fix some of the skinning issues that auto-rigging does when you have abnormal characters like this one? Um, and how do we apply the uh, auto-rig? How do we apply the cat rig to the auto-rig and replace that? And then how do we fix some of the feet positions? Because some of the feet positions can be an issue. So I'm going to walk through all of those parts. So if that sounds like something you want to see, this is definitely the tutorial for you. So continue watching this series, and we'll uh, move on to the next step in the next video. Thanks for watching.